Talking is not my strong suit, if you haven't gathered by now. Hey guys, so today I figured that I might give my first haul video a shot. I don't know if hauls is something that you guys are interested in, but just in case you are, I thought I don't have any other ideas now that I'm home from Disney for videos, so I'm gonna give this a shot. And my cat Luna has just decided to join us. Luna, I think this is your premiere on the vlog. Is there anything you'd like to say? No? Sounds about right. So for the past couple of weeks, my mom and I have been shopping primarily for professional clothes, things that I can wear to work, things that I can wear to interviews, because hopefully that's something that I will be needing very soon, as soon as I get a job. And we hit up Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Bonton. Um, for any of you that don't know, Bonton is kind of like a department store, generally targeted like for older professionals. Um, but they're actually going out of business. The company was just bought, so they're having really good sales right now. So we went a little crazy at Bonton. Okay, so I'm going to start with Marshalls. Um, first up, but a really cute t-shirt. Um, it's really, really soft. I wish you could feel it. I'm so excited to wear this. It's got some cute little bell sleeves on it. Just something really simple, you know, a nice back detail. Nothing too exciting, but just like a nice shirt that I can wear. To work with a jacket over it or even in the summertime you know depending on office dress code I could even wear it as is with some nice slacks or a pencil skirt my cat is exploring the Bonton bag but yeah I just thought this was a nice simple shirt uh, to add to my work collection or even you know not to work I would wear this you know out to dinner after a day at the beach in the summer I think it's really cute and light and comfortable and it was only $9.99 so next up keeping with the professional theme is this super pretty lace tank top I love this so much this is also from Marshalls it's Calvin Klein awesome for work I would love to wear this with a cardigan or a blazer I think it's super, super cute. And this was only $16.99. So very, very, very excited about that. The next thing we got from Marshalls is another shirt. This one's a little more casual. Um, so I could wear it to work if I tried to dress it up, but I'm mostly excited about wearing this at the beach this summer. I think it is so cute. So it's got these adorable navy and white stripes. So nautical, perfect for summer at the beach. And again, the sort of bell sleeve is a, a trend here, I guess. Another little bell sleeve, but these ones are shorter, so they more just sort of like flounce at the shoulder. And then my favorite detail is that it ties at the bottom. I think that little tie is just so cute with some high-waisted shorts and some gladiator sandals or wedges. And this was also $16.99. Keeping with the blue and white striped theme, apparently that is, you know, a trend that I'm into right now. Um, this one is next. More bell sleeves. I don't know, I just think that's a trend that's really cute right now, and I think it's a nice way to bring some feminine touches to a prefers... Bring some feminine touches to a professional wardrobe. Comfortable, nice and soft, and really cute. Excited about that one as well. And this was also $16.99. Last thing from Marshalls, um, which I've already worn, so it's a little wrinkly, and I've removed the tag, so I apologize for that. But this super, super cute, kind of casual button-up tie shirt that is just so sweet. More stripes, um, red and white stripes. Uh, I actually wore this to the Phillies game on Saturday. Kenny and I went to the Phillies game and I forgot my camera at home, so I'm sorry. You're not going to be seeing any footage from that. I took him to the Phillies game uh, as a birthday present for him. His birthday just passed. Um, but this was like the perfect shirt to wear to a Phillies game. But it's also just a really cute shirt in general. I could totally see myself wearing this at work with like a high-waisted skirt or high-waisted pants. I did lose a button on it already, which has me really sort of bummed out. So I'm gonna need to find a new button for that. I'm not sure if I remember how much this was. I want to say it was right around the range of the other ones. I feel like this was maybe $12.99 um, or maybe another $9.99, but it's really, really cute and I'm a big fan of that one as well. So next we're moving on to the TJ Maxx things. 
first up, and I think this is one of my favorite things that I've gotten in this whole haul, um, are these shorts. And I think these are just so sweet. Shorts can be really hard for me because I am kind of a bigger girl. I usually run like a size 12 to 14 at the moment. Um, and I'm hourglassy. So I have a decent sized bust and comparative to my bust and hips, I have a small waist. And then I've got big hips and a big booty. So a lot of times when I'm looking for shorts, I'm trying to find something that fits me in the waist that can still get over my hips. Because if I get something that isn't cinched at the waist, it doesn't show that my waist is smaller and I can end up looking kind of like saggy or like a tent. So I like high-waisted shorts that sort of cinch me in at the waist, but that still fit over my booty when I'm going to put my shorts on. So these were actually perfect because these shorts have a tie so that I can sort of, you know, cinch it in right at the waist and they still fit my booty and everyone loves a good vertical stripe. I've, I'm realizing there's a nautical theme here. Like everything that I've picked up over the last couple weeks is striped. Oh, and they were $12.99 from TJ Maxx. Next up from TJ Maxx are just some simple t-shirts, but you need some good staples in your wardrobe. I always neglect to pick out basics. And then whenever I wanna wear like a cool jacket or like a really cool cardigan, I never have anything that can go underneath it because everything I own is like a statement tank top or a statement shirt and it's all too busy. So I always neglect basics and fortunately shopping with my mom, she reminds me to pick these things up. So we got myself two plain t-shirts, each for $9.99. We got one in this pretty mustard yellow color and one in this like mauve pink, which I think mauve, this color mauve pink and blues like navy, I think are the colors that I wear the most. I'm always drawn to this kind of color. Last thing from TJ Maxx, and I'm so excited about this, is this super sweet, super delicate white shirt. I'm really into these flouncy bell sleeves. Clearly from what I've picked out, I'm realizing this all now that I'm sitting down and going through it but it has these beautiful lace detailed sleeves and it's really soft and really comfortable. Really, really excited to wear this. And that was everything I got from TJ Maxx. Oh, and this shirt was $14.99. Now to move on to the big one. First of all, I got some bras. Um, I needed to invest in some like good basics. Again, I forget to invest in basics. I needed good under shapewear kind of undergarments. So I wanted a nude bra, a black bra, and a strapless bra. Very exciting. Again, I mentioned that I'm bustier, so sometimes finding a good strapless bra can be really, really hard. Um, and I tried on a couple, and this one seems really promising. This is made in form, extra coverage, silky smooth, plus hide and sleek, strapless, multi-way bra. It does come with straps and you can attach them in a razorback formation, which is really nice. So there's a lot of options. It seemed like it was doing its job. So I'm excited to give this a try. The thing I really like about it is it has um, the sort of sticky tape along the side of it here, which I just think does a really good job of avoiding slippage. It doesn't want to fall down as much as it does without, you know, that extra friction. I will let you know if it holds up to my expectations because right now my hopes are up. The expectations are high. I feel good about it. Next, I got some shoes. Who doesn't love a good shoe? I got two pairs. I got these loafers, which I absolutely love. I am so excited. I was looking for a good work shoe. They're so comfortable. I have a hard time breaking in flats. I get blisters really bad. The loafer cut seems to be a little more comfort friendly when it comes to my feet. They're like a velvety suede material. They're Nine West and they were $50 I believe originally, but because Bonton's going out of business, they were marked down an additional 30%. So that was a great deal. The other shoes I picked up could theoretically be worn to work, um, but I got them more for more casual occasions. Uh, let me take out all this cardboard junk. These super cute, like wedge booty kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know what you would call these. I only have one pair of wedges, which have become like my designated going out shoe in the summer. They're really, really comfortable, but I've been wearing them for like the last two summers and I wear them to bars and to beach bars. And you can just, you can tell that 
they've seen better days. So I needed a solid replacement and these just jumped out at me as I was wandering the shoe section of Bonton. And I'm really, really excited about them. I wore them around the store. They seem pretty comfortable. I think they would go with a lot. I would wear them with jeans or with shorts or with a dress or the skirt. They were also a pretty good deal. These were $40 and they were 20% off. Just gonna stuff that stuff back in the box. Last two things I got from Bonton are shirts. One specifically um, for work, this gorgeous, gorgeous, lush, professional quarter length sleeve shirt. The material is really nice because it doesn't really wrinkle. The neckline when I tried it on was just really flattering on me. It looks like it would be a deep V, but the material kind of gathers, so it's, it's a little more modest. So I'm hoping this will be a nice staple for my professional wardrobe. And the last thing I got is once again, nautical stripes. And it's in navy and blue again. So I am just gonna look like a little sailor girl all summer long. I'm not mad about it. This is a super, super cute off the shoulder shirt that I'm absolutely in love with. Again, I can see myself wearing this this summer to out to dinner after the beach, as I keep saying, or to any of the wedding events that I have coming up. I just finished being in Megan's wedding, as you saw if you watched any of the videos from Disneyland. And I'm currently a bridesmaid in two other weddings, one of which is this September, the other is fall of 2019, so a year and a half to go on that one. But a bunch of my cousins are also getting married, and I have a bunch of friends that I know could be getting engaged within the next six to 12 months. So I need things for showers and engagement parties and family get-togethers, so apparently to me that just meant nautical stripes for everything. Maybe I'll wear this with my new leather wedges. We'll see. So that just about wraps it up. That's everything I got in the last couple of weeks. I feel a little more prepared and ready to tackle my journey into the workforce. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked this style of video, if you were into the haul thing, cool. Let me know. I'll gladly make more of them. I don't know when I'll be buying a great deal of clothing again anytime soon because I just bought a bunch but it'd be good to know in the future if you were into this sort of thing or if you absolutely hated it you can tell me that too and I will avoid making them again. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.